I don't know. I'm about to check right now. <clears throat> Khan Khan. Shalom. With Real Hebrew Israelites. Um, testing out everything. If anybody would jo join in, to, um, make sure the sound and volume is everything cool. Shalom. Man, that brother Kadar Shapat, bro. Yeah, yeah boy. <laughs> that brother be on it. Hallelujah. Oh, man, that feed the flock is always around, too. <laughs> hey, Shalom, Makim. How about Shem Yaw Shabarak? Um, this is a impromptu show. Um, we're brothers here at GMS Chicago. First and foremost, I want to say all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to you, all the apostles out of New York at Great Millstone at GMS. Honors to all the Akim around the planet looking up the name Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and truth and sincerity. Um, uh, so basically, uh, uh, oh man, that brother GMS, <laughs> the basics, that man, that brother, oh, he made sure he uh, <laughs> No, we do the spirit of how about Shemesh? It's a beautiful time we're living in right now. Um, the apostle Ramlab just uh had a live show, Elder Manatis, I just had a live show. Um, the, the brother Kodar Shapil is letting me know that GMS London is having a live show right now, and that's beautiful and we all should continue to push it like that so you name me how about me i was shy it's pushed the truth and the doctrine is pushed and um the elect is edified the elect hopeful is woken up and edified so right now we just you know through the spirit had about a, uh no more than an hour to spare before i had to go to work and the spirit was like as GMS rebuke the temper just put in, flood the unicorn. Uh, we're flooding the unicorn. This is what we're doing. It's Operation Flood Esau, Operation Push This Truth, Operation uh, um, The End Is Near, Last Call for Alcohol. It don't matter. So, to the spirit of how about Shimi was shy. We're going to go ahead on and just jump in. Yakia, if you can give me um, First Peter 5. Um, uh, start with verse, um, you start with verse five, that's fine. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, first Peter's five. Matter of fact, start at the top, bro. Start the point, the, the point that we want to really get into is about being vigilant and just, the more that we're on this path, the more we got to watch the more we got to pray um if you give me habakkuk two we'll have that on deck uh and then we'll just follow however the spirit uh rolls it out but start at the at start at the top okay this is uh first peter five and one it says the elders which are among you i exhort who am also an elder and a witness of the suffering sufferings of Yahweh Shah, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of the Most High which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over the Most High's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves to the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For the Most High resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that ye that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, 
because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour whom resists steadfast in the faith knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world but the most high of all grace who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Yahweh after that ye have suffered a while make it you perfect establish strengthen settle you all right um now we're going to go over that those 10 verses and we're going to go take it again from the top and we're going to do a little breakdown of them um like i said the main point that i want to start off with is in verse 8 uh but we'll start at the top again go ahead brother. uh first peter five and one it says the elder which are among you i exhort whom also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of yahweh shai and also partakers of the glory that shall be revealed all right so <clears throat> this is um peter if you all know who Peter was through the spirit of how about me out shy he was um uh the one who Yahweh shy said will be his rock his name Peter is also Cephas which means stone or Petra uh he he how was shy went to the spirit world he left Peter in charge so this is a this is what was from Peter who in reincarnation we believe is King David um he said he's this is an exhortation to the elders to elder brothers and uh, older akim and uh so basically this is the, the vibration that we should be in all right go ahead it says feed the flock of what? the most high now it's, it's funny that he say feed the flock right uh give me that real quickly how shy told him over and over and over that's one of our favorite sections to go over because this is a this is our job this is our duty to feed the flock we have about shimmy how shy rock desire we're going to keep pushing these shows the regular shows the live shows the street teachings uh whatever the lord will have us to do to push out this truth and it's going to continue to be uh encouraged and pushed because our job is to feed the flock you got that Go ahead. This is uh, St. John 21 and 15. So when they had dined, Yahweh Shah said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, feed my sheep he said unto him the third time simon son of jonas lovest thou me peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time lovest thou me and he said unto him lord thou knowest all things thou knowest that i love thee yahweh shah said unto him feed my sheep so he he know yahweh shah knew everything right yahweh shah was still getting on him now give me uh Satan desire to Yeah, he kept yeah, how Shai told him and he kept telling them over and over to the point it grieved Peter because it made him feel like what well, damn Lord you know everything you know I love you I'm feed I'm, I'm I'm doing whatever you want me to do what are you talking about he said feed my flock feed my flock feed my flock feed my flock but that message was not only to Peter. Peter turned around. Now read it back to where you are right now. It says, First Peter 5 and 2. Feed the flock of the Most High, which is among you. So now Peter turned around, and now he's telling everybody what he got taught, right? Everything that we teach is not our own. We're teaching and building on another man's foundation. The foundation we're building on is Yahweh, Bahashem, yeah, I was shy. This is uh Romans 15 and 4. It says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime 
were written for our learning that we through uh, patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope in the things that were written were done. So we can also say the things that were done aforetime That's right. were done for our learning. That's right, brother. So when that happened with, with uh, Peter, with how I told him, then when Peter told him, you know, told us, right. you know, all that was done, it was written for our learning to follow that example. Right. You know, the same thing. As a matter of fact, that's what it says, Peter, go on to say that you be in samples. That's right. 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 Hey, shalom to GMS Holland. Sit down. Yeah. Um, he says shalom mocking across the world. Um, I'm not sure if that's the brother, the, the deaf brother or not. But I remember when I first came into the truth, I was corresponding with uh, one of the brothers from GMS Holland. I don't know if it was the brother who was uh, who signs and um, uh, uh, but if that is the brother Shalom, no matter what, it's all good. Um, yeah, but back to what you were saying, brother, it's, it's everything that we do is about feeding the flock. And it's the feeding the flock is how we're going to get the fuck up out of here. The more people that wake up into the truth is, the, is, is uh, going to speed up the process. Because first and foremost, are you calling on the name of your Hawabashim Yawashim? Are you calling on the name of Yahweh I'm calling on the name of Yahweh Shai. Anybody who wakes up into the truth is calling on the name of Yahweh Shai. And when that number is hit, where it's the 144 and the one third calling on him to rescue us, what is he going to do? He's going to have to save us. So we have to, we need everybody to be on point and to be calling on that name but in order to be on point and calling on that name we got to be what pushing this truth all right um the the big guy the big muscle guy who for my job he came in yesterday and we sat down and rapped for us long you know he said he about to cut his dreads off you know what i'm saying uh i said beautiful y'all and i said hey we're not you know trying to push this abortion like we told you know the brothers but if the spirit is on you to do it do it you know but that right there is an example of where why we gotta do what we gotta do. If that one brother, and he's a big brother, <laughs> comes into the truth, that's one less person we have to worry about waking up to get to the end game. We don't know exactly. Get that. Get that scripture. Get, uh, all the songs. Uh, no. No, the one in the gospels, all the angels resort joyce when one wakes up. Yeah, I thought it was a song. If there's one there, get that one too. Get it, find it, find it, bring it out. All right. All right. But go back to that, bro. Because okay. I'm going to This is Luke 22 and verse 31. Luke 22 and 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. So now this is what. Um, Yahweh Shai told King David. Now, this is one of the reasons why he told him feed the flock, feed the flock, feed the flock. Feeding the flock is actually part of your protection, man. If you're out there doing the work of the Lord, the Lord got to cover you. If you're out there working for Him, you have to be under His jurisdiction and His benefits. All right, this is the greatest job to have with the greatest. Uh, 401k. This ain't a 401k. It's a 144k. But that 144k is better than their 401k. All right. We, the Lord's benefits and his reward, even if it was a penny of gold, man. All right. One penny of the most highest gold is more than all the gold in the universe compared to, you know, say anybody else in their paycheck. We got the best job. Okay. So he took the Yahweh Shai was warning Peter. Read it again. Uh, uh, Luke 22 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. The Most High said, Satan desired to have you. And he was talking to King David. I mean, Peter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> but 
was the most high only talking to Peter and not talking to any any of the rest of us. This everything you you said it again, right? You read it, right? Uh, everything written what? Four times. Was written for what? For our learning. So if he told Peter, hey, the enemy seeks to desire you, feed the flock, because he's trying to fuck you up, he's trying to kill you. That's to all of us. Satan desires Elder Apostle Tahar, Elder Apostle uh, uh, Gabar, to Elder Apostle Kha, to Elder Apostle Ramlap on down, to all the brothers in all the camps, to all the states, all the way down, to the elect hopeful who haven't even woke up to the fact that they're Israelites by blood, who are trying to live their life right, who the Lord is going to wake them up through our ministry. The Lord is, he said, Satan desires all the uh, one third, man. Because if say if he can stop one of the one third, hopefully he feel that the shit falls apart and that he gets more time to do his wickedness down here, right? Esau wants to do what? He doesn't want to give up his kingdom. So we have to understand that Esau is after us. These demons are after us. Spiritual Satan is after us. We we must realize that we are in dire straits. That Satan has desired us. Read that one more time, Bible John. It says, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. It says, But I have prayed for thee. So Yahweh Shai said, But hold on. Satan wants you. He wants to sift you as he's up there um, in the harvest, cra grabbing off the, the wheat, the, the, the corn, the, the uh, whatever. And he, But he wants to keep you for himself. Say that again. He wants to keep it for himself. All right. Yahweh Bashim Shai wants to, to, to present us his righteous fruits for Yahweh, his father. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Go ahead. It says that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. So he's now Yahweh Shai said, read, what, read that again. It says, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brain before that it says but i have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not and when thou art converted strengthen thy brethren so he said same one to come and get us right at, read it one more time brother so we talk, verse 31 yeah uh, verse 31 again and the lord said simon simon behold Satan has desired to have you so this is to all akim and all camps all around the planet from from Hawaii to Holland to Canada to uh, to Chile to Argentina all around the planet he said Satan desirous the enemy wants to break us down the enemy enemy don't he's getting sick and tired of us pushing this truth he wants to cut off the internet he wants his truth ceased all right so we and he's going to cease it but only through the power of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. He can't jump over the power of the Lord. So if the Lord has got us out here. That means word, more word needs to be out to furthering the gospel, furthering the sealing of the, uh, the 144 and the, uh, and the one third. But Satan desires all of us to be destroyed. Go ahead. It says um, that he may sift you as wheat. So he can sift us as, as, uh, as vegetables, man. Just to come grab you and take you away, man. Go ahead. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen. So Yahweh Bashim Shai said, I pray for you that you don't fail. Do you know why we having this extra urge to go out there and do the work of the Lord? Do you know why we have an extra urge to go out there and do the sit downs, the impromptus, to go read? Anything that we do for the Lord is because the Lord has given us the power to do it. Do not think that you are doing this on your own, out of your own volition. This is the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, putting the spirit in us to do it, to fulfill his will. That's why we have to continue to pray and ask Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to give us more of the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's why those blessings and those curses work. All right, go ahead. Oh, that was it. But no, I the, the last, the, this the last part of that one verse. It says. The convert part. Right. He says, when thou art converted, when thou art converted, when you wake the fuck up, when you find out that you're an Israelite, when you see the light, all right, 
because every single one of us has had to wake up into that that understanding that we have come into the light because somebody was already had the torch that's part of the humbling mechanism so that we don't rise up above our teaching that we don't go up and uh do a whole bunch go and get out of pocket and get out of order because when you first wake up and you wake up to hebrews like 5 and 12 at the time he ought to be teachers that you need one to teach you again once you wake up into that and start doing the work, then you say, well, shit, this is not all me. The elders have been doing this. The apostles have been doing this. Brothers have been doing this all over. I'm not, this ain't something that I've done on my own. So you don't, so, so pride can sit the fuck down, man. And Yahweh Bashim Shai can do his work. So read that again about being converted. Uh, it says that when thou art converted, strengthen thy brother. So once you get converted, do what? Strengthen. Thy brother. I'm sorry, what? Strengthen thy brethren. Strengthen thy brethren. How do we strengthen the brother? By going out here in the highways and the byways. Like GMS Holland said, um, uh, he said, Satan really desired us last week at camp. Uh, at camp, a female cop came to the camp with a compass and square Freemasonry tattoo on her arm. And she was trying to shut them down. Uh, when, the, when you convert your brethren, you're going to see that. You're going to fight your way through that demon fucking with you. And you're going to stand the course. You're going to hold the line. You're going to stand your ground. And you're going to continue to push out this truth. All right? And he put up a scripture, six, uh, Galatians 6 and 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. If we continue to stay on the crime, if we stay on the path, if we stay on the course, we won't get too we to continue to do our job. We'll stay powered up. We'll stay uh, fired up to do this work. And then when we wake up to the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushua, we're going to do what? We're going to convert others. When we convert, we're going to strengthen our brothers. How do you strengthen the brothers? Doing the work, doing the lessons, doing the videos, teaching, preaching, fussing, cussing, doing the live shows. All right? Doing the regular shows, doing the street teachings. That's what we got to do. All right. You got some precepts? Yeah, I got a couple of these words. And you got some more, right? All right, cool. So we'll just go into these precepts. Which, uh, which we also know what the word convert me, but in the uh, which which con is with or together, invert is to turn. So That's basically right. means to turn together. Right. You know? Um, and and if you go into that word to turn together, go into the Hebrew, Shawab, I believe. Yep. Shawab. Shawab. To, be, to yep. return. Yep. The Yahweh is trying to re again to turn us to him. Because once he kicked us out, our faces got turned around from Yahweh Shai. Now Yahweh Shai is trying to turn our faces back around toward him. Right. To return to him, to the gospel of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Shai. Right. So, so how can the heathen convert? It's impossible. Hmm. Only initial like they convert, come back, return to so, right. But um in the Greek it's a uh, G nineteen ninety-four Epistropo Epistropo. It says transit transit transitively to turn to to the worship of the true power, to cause to return, to bring back to the love and obedience uh -huh. of the most high. So that, that's what? What word is that? Convert? Convert. This is convert. Read yeah. it again. It says to turn to the worship of the true power. So to convert someone is to, when they weren't following Yahweh, Yahweh Shai in truth and sincerity, to turn them to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai in truth and sincerity. All right? So, like, let's take the big guy. Um, you know, we don't got a Hebrew name for him yet. He come, He's coming around. He's gonna be a mighty truth. I can see, you know. Uh uh, but he was calling on Yeshua, Yahweh, and all that other madness that uh Christ, Jesus, that Israel of God was teaching him in that madness. But when we say hey, you know, he has a Hebrew name, hey, it's more to it than there's a deeper level. Now he's starting to see that and return to he, we're taking that brother head. And facing it back toward Yahweh Shai and his true sincerity of who he really is. We we kind of do this so much that we forget the power of one person, bro. 
you waking up one person might be that one person needed to cover your ass. Because James, the fifth chapter says, he that convert, uh, uh, converted the sinner from sins, converted uh, hide the multitude of his own sins, right? I know I kind of paraphrased it and, and butchered it, but that's our job, man. I was wooed when he came into the job yesterday just to say Shalom. And he was like, hey, can you help me with the, I'm still trying to work on the name, getting it down packed, because he know you how you shot, but we were like, how about you shot? We do it so fast, it's like we kind of forget, you know, because we've been doing this so long, you know. And then he was like, "Hey, man, can you help me teach me how to pray?" <laughs> it's like, well, man, you pray is easy, man. You talk to the Lord. You talk to Him as a father. You talk to Him as, you know. But you, we have to go back over all the basics because He's learning all the basics, you know. We get so caught up in trying to be on some type of level so deep when the Lord say, man, <laughs> average Jake ain't ready for that deep stuff. You're giving them the milk, man. Give them what they need so they can get it, so they can wake up, so we can get the fuck up out of here. Go ahead. Say that again. I said that they might grow thereby. That's the right. Milk. That's right. That's Peter. That's sincere milk. God, go ahead. It says to cause, to return, to bring back to the love and obedience of the heavenly father so to bring back to the love and obedience of the heavenly father now the brother's trying to be obedient he said what so um, um the young guy tazaba gave him corinthians on on how it's a shame for us to have long hair that was one of the first scriptures because he was because he asked him about while well, i was busy about another now the brother here cadet and he up there edified him on Oh, no, nah, yeah, we don't supposed to have long hair. The scriptures say ABC about long hair. Then we went into Judges about um, the locks. Because he said Samson had locks. No, yeah, he did. And locks is maklapawa, which is what? Braids, gliding over each other, just regular, just, you know, hair. And what's, what's dread about that? But those little, little, little things, if that sets in his spirit, and he was like, so you're going to be, you know, are you going to be there Saturday? I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be there Saturday because I got to work, but you got to be there. He's like, I'm, I'm going to be there. That's the spirit that we want to be with. The work that we're doing is working. You can't see it as far as the whole scope of Yahweh, why Yahweh was shy. He, his eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Ours not. We don't know everybody we wake up by our shows. We don't know everybody we wake up by our personal interactions. We don't know everyone we wake up by going out there on the streets and the highways and byways. The most high knows. And we must trust him to know that it's working. Go ahead. It says, uh, to the love for the children, right? Which is uh, the elect of the brothers out here. To love wisdom and righteousness. So it says, the cause to return to bring back to the love and obedience of the most high, to the love for the children, to the love of wisdom and righteousness. That's right. So to convert back, when you're converted, it says strengthen thy brother. That word strengthen in the Greek is 4741, which is a starizo, which means to make stable, place firmly, set fast, fix, to strengthen, make firm, to render constant, confirm one's mind. That's right. You know, so hey, the scripture says, "Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind." How can how can he be persuaded by you giving him these scriptures? The scripture says that uh, 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 the Lord will give us a mouth that no man can gain, say nor resist, man. That's right. The scriptures deal with every aspect. You That's know, right. hey, we